this video, we're going to learn how to do a frequency distribution of Likert scale data using Excel. This spreadsheet contains 99 records from a survey with a 5-point scale, where a 5 is highly satisfied and a 1 is highly unsatisfied. We want to create a frequency table so we can summarize the data. While there are several ways to do this, we're going to use the count formulas to create a frequency table. Then we can convert the frequencies to percentages and use them in charts. So first what we're going to do is to create us a, a new column in the spreadsheet. And I've already done this, but I will show you how to do it. If you will right click on the A up here, then you can hit insert and that will insert you a new column. Then I'm going to the bottom of this column, right after the last row of uh, data, and I typed in some information that I want to use in my frequency table. So I have N with, for the answered question. So anything that was answered, I have the N for that. The N or the count for the blank answer. So in case somebody didn't answer something, it would be blank on the survey and I want to know how many of those there were and then I'm going to add these two together, those two together, and get in for my total. And then I have added a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. These are my survey questions or answers. They were either a 5, 4, 3, 2, or 1, and I'm typing them here. If you were using something else in your survey, for example, if, it, if, it, if they put highly satisfied in the in each of these and the word highly satisfied was what came up in your survey results then you would just type that in those areas. So now we're going to start using some counts. So first of all I'm going to count the number of answered questions and to do this I'm going to hit do the count function I'm going to hit the equal sign and I'm going to type the word count and these are all the count functions that we can use. The count function itself just counts the number of cells in a range that contains numbers. And then the next thing we're going to do, after you can double click however you want to do it, then we're going to select, and it doesn't matter which way you select it, and then I'm going to hit enter, and then that gives me the count of all the answered questions. Count blank runs is a similar thing. You hit the equal sign again, start tapping the word count again, and it's count blank. That's what you're going to use. This counts the number of empty cells. So I'll double click on that. Once again, I'm going to select it. Hit enter. And now I have no empty cells there. And then for the total, I'm just going to do a sum and I'm just going to sum these two numbers and there's my sum. Now to prove this would work, let's pretend like that this right here was instead of a 5 it was a blank. So I'm going to just take out that 5 and click and you'll notice now that it figured out that there was a blank cell there. I'm going to put this back in for now but that does work. Everything's good. Now let's count our individual scores. So we're going to use the count if function again. I'm going to hit the equal sign, count if. And so the count if, what it lets you do is it lets you look at a range of scores and it checks it for a criteria. In this case, it's going to check it to see if it equals 5. And if it equals 5, it's going to count it. So first of all, I need my range. So I'm going to go up here. It doesn't matter as I say either way. Stop it there. And then I'm going to hit the comma. And the criteria that I'm using is if it's equal to a 5. So that's why I type these numbers here. And then I'm going to put my right parenthesis. And there it did. It counted those. And I can copy these down. And then there's our count for our first column of data. Now we have one more thing we have to do before we can make this formula work for all the responses. Um, just to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to go ahead and highlight these 
and extend them out. But look, we've got some problems here, and the problems, what's happening here is that when I click on this one, you'll notice that it's looking at A104, A104 to get that 5. But when I click here, it's looking at B104, so it's looking for a 21. There is no 21, and so it says it's 0. So we have to do one more step. So I'm going to undo what I just did here. And what we have to do is we have to anchor that A104 so that this row always goes to A104. And the easiest way to do that is to click up here in the formula and hit the F4 key. We're going to need to do the same thing for the rest of them as well. Enter, push enter, go up here, push enter, go here, push enter, uh, F4, enter, and then F4, enter. And now, when we select these, actually we can just do them all, extend them out. Now those numbers look a lot better. So now I'm going to take my data and I'm going to put it in another tab and do some data analysis with it. So I'm just going to select it here. I'm going to right click and copy it. And I can create a new sheet here, or I've actually got a blank sheet. Now, when you paste this data, you're going to want to paste it using Paste Special. You're going to want to just paste the values. Otherwise, you get those formulas in there, and it's going to, it could potentially mess some things up. So I'm just going to suggest you do that. Also, we need our question numbers. I just copied the table over. I'm going to right-click on that top row, and we'll insert a new row. And I'm going to go back to my data and pull in those question numbers. Just going to copy those and paste that in here. So now I've got my question numbers. And you could even put the whole question in here, but for right now I'm just going to do it this way. I also would probably just go on and delete those two rows there for my, my frequency table, just as long as I have my ends, now that I'm satisfied that it's actually working correctly. You can now take this data, create percentages, format the data into a nice table, and even create graphs to display the data. And this is how you create a frequency distribution table using Excel.